Hey nerds, this is Chris. I just recently discovered these little Razor motorcycles. I've got an MX350, two MX650, and an MX500. The motorcycles we've enjoyed most are the MX650s for their full suspension and just overall more customizability. So these motorcycles are made for kids, they're toys. But there's an infinite amount of customizations you can do from just adding one or two batteries to changing out the entire powertrain and getting just an insane amount of performance out of these. So today what we're going to do is we're going to compare some of the more budget customizations you can do to increase performance on these and have just a ton of fun. First off, we'll look at what the stock performance looks like. That's 36 volts lead acid batteries with a 500 watt motor. After that, we're going to throw in an extra lead acid battery to run it at 48 volts, everything else stock. Next, we'll swap out those heavy lead acid batteries for some lithium batteries. I'm using the orange batteries from Greenway. They're also 48 volts, but we're gonna add a cheap eBay speed controller and a two kilowatt motor that is brushless. After that, we're gonna increase the budget a little bit and go with the Kelly controller and a nicer two kilowatt motor made by Kuhn Ray. I found a loop that's right next to my house. It's not perfect, it's about a quarter mile, but you go one direction, do a 180 degree turn, and come back the other direction. We'll take a look at top speeds, zero to 10 times, zero to 15 times, zero to 20 times, and zero to 25 times. Not all of them can go that fast. It's imperfect methodology. There's a bit of braking at the end and accelerating twice. It's slightly uphill one direction, slightly downhill the other direction, but it should give you a good idea of what, can, what performance improvements you can expect to get out of these modifications. All right, let's get into it. It's gonna be fun. Reset. Okay, one, two, three, go. motor, 36 volts. One, two, three, go! Kind of cheated by pushing off a little bit. It didn't need to. This is attempt number three. It means I'm not at full, full battery because I dorked up the first two. Okay, so this is 48 volt eBay controller, uh, fully charged, 54.6 volts. Yeah, all right. Ready, set, ready, set, go. Oh, my phone. Definitely gonna have to slow down here. Brakes, 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 mud. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, slow down probably a little bit more than I needed to.
and stop. <laughs> My phone did not hold on well. <laughs> Top speed 29, not too shabby. I usually don't get to 29 on this bike. Uh, I do wheelies. <coughs> One, two, three, go. All right, this is 48 volts, Kelly controller, two kilowatt motor. Stop. Thirty two point eight. All right, guys, so as you can see, there are tons of improvements that can be had with these little motorcycles with just a few small modifications. Some information I didn't include in the intro is I weigh about 200 pounds. All of these bikes had the same exact gearing. What I changed out was controllers, motors, and then uh, added some different batteries at different voltages. I have another motorcycle I'm running right now that is stock controller stock motor stock voltage 36 volts but it's lithium and i saw huge improvements with that too for my daughter so there are a bunch of different options you can do to have a lot of fun on these things anyway thank you guys for watching i hope this was in informative let me know if there's anything else you want to see uh, i tried my best to do these recordings as i was building out these bikes so i could get you guys a good solid comparison to help you manage expectations all right get off youtube go outside get on your motorcycle and have some fun Take care, guys. Oh, I tried to bunny hop the whole thing. <laughs>